Okay, so in this video, we want to look at two different types of convergence, namely absolute convergence and conditional convergence. And we'll look at this from the point of view of constructing a simple tree as to what can happen about the convergence of a series. And we'll look at different possibilities. So if we look at the initial series, so summing a n, say from 1 to infinity, then there are only two options. The series either diverges or the series converges. Now if the series diverges, it's the end of the story. There's nothing more to be said. But if the series converges, then we can look at a new series, namely the series of the terms a n, now in absolute value. And there are, of course, two possibilities. The series can either converge or diverge. So suppose here the series diverges. And then the other option is the series converges. So what name do we give in each case? So if we reach this point, it means that the initial series converges, but the series of the absolute value of the terms diverges. This is what we call conditional convergence. So we say that the initial series converges conditionally. And again, simply put, the series itself converges, but the series of its absolute value diverges. And so we say we have conditional convergence or that the initial series converges conditionally. Well, in the other case, when the series converges and the series of the absolute value converges, we say we have absolute convergence and therefore we say that the series converges absolutely. So these are the two types of convergence. So to summarize, if the series diverges, end of the story. If the series converges, we can look at the new series of the absolute value of the terms. If this new series diverges, but the initial series converges, we have conditional convergence. If the series converges and the series of its absolute values converges, we have absolute convergence. And one thing we have proved in a previous video is if instead of looking at the series initially we jump over and look at the series of the absolute values, if this series converges we know that automatically the initial series will also converge. So we can formulate this quite simply in the form of absolute convergence implies convergence. So if you have absolute convergence, it means that the series of the terms in absolute value converges, and we have proved previously that this implies automatically that the series without the absolute values also converges. So simply put, absolute convergence, the convergence of this series implies convergence of the series without the absolute values. So we can also write this 
using the series form. So if the series of the absolute value of an converges, the implication is that the series itself, without the absolute value, also converges. But again, a short way of saying this is that absolute convergence implies convergence. And that's it.